good afternoon. Today, we are going to, we're at Logan's Pass. We took the sh free shuttle up, parked down at the visitor center, and uh, we're taking the High Line Trail today. The High Line Trail. Lots of people want to hike this. So this is on a bucket list. 11 miles. So this is the hike. It is not for the handicap. This is not considered a, this is considered a strenuous hike. Look how gorgeous it is. Look how gorgeous. Awesome. Awesome. Look how pretty these trees are. I love it. It's so smoky though. Look out back over there. So smoky you can hardly see. Yeah. See how high we are? Damn. Yeah, buddy. Holy crap. Okay. And if you fail, you could cause a rock slide. Huh? Yeah, I don't believe it's four foot wide. But it is some more gorgeous. Well, I know it's dangerous, but it's gorgeous too. Man, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? How high are we? Wow, that's a long drop. Yep, this is uh like drop off, people. Drop off. Camera on. Uh huh. Oh, this ain't no drama. This is like uh, kick ass. Yeah, if you're a hiker, this is a bucket list uh, hike. Well, look at that view. Woo. Oh God, they got a toddler? Oh Lord, they got a baby. Two of them. Oof. Okay. Okay. I just heard that there's another uh, trail off of this that's 19 miles. That's part of this Highline Trail. Now y'all do know I used to be deathly afraid of heights and I'm up here on the High Line Trail so if I can do it y'all can do it and contrary to what you read and people show on uh, YouTube and Facebook and whatnot the trail is not four foot wide but they have these little areas here where you can stand off so you can let somebody pass and these rocks because they're coming from the weeping rocks are slick so you better have on good hiking shoes you slip on that and you're whew, off of the mountain you go okay it is four foot at some places but most of it is two foot wide two to three foot wide <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Childers getting in on the video today. Look at here. Wow. Awesome. See all these rocks? Uh -huh. It pushes you out to the edge here. But 
It's nice. A nice hike. Okay. We're going uphill now. This thing goes just like this. Just found him a place to rest. <laughs> Nice. Nice, nice. Careful now. I am. You see how he he rests, but he didn't let his wife rest. And another thing, the air is really thin. You can twist your ankle easily on these rocks here. So be careful. But if you fall, guess what? Another rock's going to catch you. <laughs> Hopefully there won't be a, uh, a rock slide. That would not be good. Look at this. It's just awesome. Awesome. And we have to climb this hill up here. And it goes straight up there. Woo! Here. Look at this. Mm. Yeah, buddy. Hold on. Whoa. Yeah, it's a little treacherous. This is not for the faint at heart. Not at all. Look at that. If you fall, you are a goner. Look at this trail, folks. Oh, every time you turn around, it's even prettier. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous trail. Our buddy left us. He, he walks 13 miles a day uh, as a postal delivery guy. So he's used to this. That would hurt if you fell. I just came around there. Now it smooths out a little bit. It's still steep. But not, I mean, this is okay. It's not four foot wide though. That's okay. We got these little pull-offs where we can stand to let people buy. It's all good. It's all good. So they say we're going to see wildlife up here. We're going to see some rams and mountain goats and grizzly bears. So we shall see. See, it narrows out. But look where I just came from, all those rocks hanging off. And one point back there, it's only six inches wide. And look how far down that is. But isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it? I mean, this is a once in a lifetime hike. I don't know if I'll ever do it again. I may. I may. But, uh, huh? We just met a lady on the trail a while ago. She had to be at least 75. At least. So, that means I got another good 20 years. Hey, I think I can handle it. Ooh. So what was that you were saying, honey? Holy Batman. You said holy hell, Batman. Uh -huh. Woo! There ain't no Disney ride back there now. <laughs> Five years ago when we were here, there were there were at least a dozen waterfalls running. And uh, now it's dry because they didn't have any snow this year. It's a shame. It really is. That's why they have so many fires now. You know, if it did rain and there's lightning, that'll start a fire in a heartbeat. But this was such a pretty waterfall. Such a pretty waterfall. Flowed right down through here. All the way down to the road. All the way it was gorgeous. Oh, what a shame. Well, supposedly the almanac says they're going to have uh, 
a nice wet winter. So hopefully they'll have some snow. Uh, tricky. Tricky again. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Woo! Y'all see, I'm standing on a cliff. Standing on a cliff. Like a mountain goat. Man, that's a long ways down. Whoosh. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh. Back on the gravel again. For a little ways anyway. Yeah, buddy, you trip and you're done. Woo! Yes, this is the first time I've taken this trail. Iceberg Lake, we had been up there one other time. But, see, most people can handle this kind of trail right here. It's when you get back there and you can see the overlook, they're like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so that's why there aren't many people on this trail. Because a lot of people are scared of heights. This part of the hike is really, really pretty. Really pretty. And supposedly, we're gonna see a, see wildlife a little further up here. I'm sorry I'm breathing like this. I can't help it. The air is really thin. My husband is having a hard time too. <sighs> little steep, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. too bad look at this look how pretty this is oh I love it oh it gets narrow over here though better hope you don't meet a fellow hiker Woo. You definitely have to be sure-footed to take this trail. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Or they call it sauerkraut. Yeah. Yeah, there's a plant up here. It's called it's called either sauerkraut or what'd you call it? Stunk, skunk what? skunk weed and it smells like dog poop yeah it's horrible i thought bobby had run over uh a pile of dog mess the other day and it was just because we were getting out where um there was a whole bunch of it growing Woo! now look here honey we're hanging off some rocks right here man wow Dang. Awesome. awesome. Ooh. Man. It's rough in some places, folks. But can you not beat this? I mean, this is... Wow. Man. No handrail here. No handrail. Me too. Okay, here we go. Oh, I see him up yonder. He goes around. Look at this. Wow. Look at our view. Is that not spectacular? Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. There's a ram down here, folks. There he is.
magnificent. Look at the ram. How cool. How cool is that? Huh? Somebody gave you a piece of cheese, didn't they? <laughs> is it good? It must be. You're getting fat on this piece of cheese. So pretty. So pretty. I'm telling y'all. One of my followers said that, huh, you're home. And I think she's right. I love it here. Love it. Just love it. I, I'm going to have to live here at least, at least six months out of the year. I have to. There's no way that you can see everything and do everything on a vacation. So, free yourself of the stress. So you can get out here and enjoy your life. So let me tell you what. We are having a blast. Wow. That's going to be quite the climb, huh? Whoo! He's going to go past these big boulders all the way up there around. And if you can look, there's some people walking up there. So we have to walk up there. And walk back there. There's some people up there. Oh, you can twist your ankle easily on these rocks here. So be careful. But if you fall, guess what? Another rock's going to catch you. <laughs> Look at this. It's just awesome. Awesome. We have to climb this hill up here and it goes straight up there we came from way down there it's way over there whoo all right now we're going around the bend here to me this is the hardest part not walking along the edge walking uphill and the air is thinner than it is in florida because we have all flat ground down there and we do not have all these hills, all these mountains. So, it's a little rougher for us. Just a little rougher. But it is pretty. We made it from way down there. And it cuts around and everything. And it's all uphill. Mile four is tough. It's a long ways down there, I can tell you that. I think they said we're about five or six thousand feet up. Whew. More uphill, folks. Oh, it's the uphill that kills me. It's the uphill. And they're pretty, though. Oh, God. What a hike. What a hike. This is a really pretty part of the hike. All rocky. Now you have to be part mountain goat to take this trail. And the momentum coming down uh, will actually make you run down the hill. Yeah. Look at that. They look like red tips. So pretty. So pretty. This is really rocky in here. So, I have to put the camera away so I can be very careful. This last mile on the way to the chalet is pretty easy. As you can see, we're, not, we're right in the middle of a mountain. We're not off a cliff, thank goodness. I wonder how many people they have to rescue off this mountain of people who just fall out. I'm tired. I'm hot. And uh, my hips are starting to hurt a little bit. Uh, I wrapped my blisters up really good. So they're not hurting at all. But as you see, there's a lot of uphill. A lot. And you have to be very careful. Because a lot of it's gravel. 
and if it was raining some of these rocks here would be really slick so pick your time of the year to come if they're having a lot of rainfall I would suggest that you do not go on this trail but if you're adventurous sure-footed and you love the views from up high this is the place to be I gotta go around this rock here oh okay here we go sure drop off look at that look how narrow this gets hope I don't meet a fellow hiker here and I have to be right on the edge I think I'm gonna go up right here okay I don't know if y'all can see it but up on the top of this ridge up here there's a chalet that's where we're going along this trail right here oh there's a little chickmunk hey buddy <laughs> hey oh he's pretty Holy mackerel, look at that big joker. Oh, wee. That's what they call, uh, that's a marmot? Yeah. That's a huge marmot. Look at the little chipmunk. He's just a eating. Getting all of his fat before it gets winter time. <laughs> Bobby thought he might have heard a bear. That's where I heard those people. Yeah, that's where they are, wow, I'm not going up there. And we're going right up there. Whoop, sorry. Right up there to the chalet. Look at the view. Amazing. It's gorgeous. And the shallow sits at the top of the hill. One more hill to climb. And then it's all downhill from there. Wow. I said a little prayer so the Lord will give me strength to get up this this one last hill. Whew. It's 2200 foot drop from the chalet down to the parking lot. So we are booking it. We have two hours to get to our shuttle. So we're trying to make up some time for all that climbing we did. Okay, see you at the bottom. Hey. Hey, sweetie. How are you? Okay, I got to go. This is the downward side of the trail. Much easier than going up. And we have, we have about an hour and a half before we have to be at the shuttle. We made it to the bottom. Yeah, there's a parking lot over there. Very pretty, huh? Very pretty. I'm going to the parking lot. <laughs>